This is the book of 2 Ezra, chapter 9, verse 2, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. Then thou shalt understand it is a very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Makarkadash. Shalom to the elders for preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And I say uh, shalom to the Akim out there. And this is a uh, sit-down lesson that I want to uh, bring out of this recent news article. And it says uh, from Voice Voice voiceofamericanews.com and this is published by the Associated Press June the 24th, 2023 at 9 53 a.m. and it reads Tropical Storm Sydney Brit shows uh, aggressive start to Atlantic hurricane season it says uh, San Juan, Puerto Rico, tropical storm Sydney forms beyond the tropical storm Brit in the first case of two storms in the tropical Atlantic in June since record keeping began in 1851 forecast said Friday. The historical event signals an early aggressive start to the uh, Atlantic hurricane season that began June the 1st and usually peaks from mid-August to mid-October, which is, yeah, because, uh, yeah, when hurricane season comes, you expect that, like, in late September or October, which is kind of shocking. It's early in June the 1st, so that's uh, definitely the very first time hearing about that, which is kind of shocking. And I'm going to read it again. It says, historical event signals an early aggressive start to the Atlantic hurricane season that began June the 1st and usually peaks from mid-August to mid-October. Some forecasters blame usually high sea temperatures for the rare development. The Atlantic is awful warm this year, says Kerry Emanuel, a meteorologist at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology adding that it is probably a result of global warming, natural ver variability, and the ocean's recovery from the souffle aerosol pollution that cools its decades ago. And it says, study shows that a warmer world is producing weather and, warm and more intense hurricanes with science scientists trying to figure out the climate change ulcers have many storms brew because of the early and preseason storms. The National Hurricane Center has started issuing advisories earlier in the year with experts recently discussing the idea of declaring the start of the hurricane season earlier. It may well noted that in the entire Atlantic Ocean, not just the tropical Atlantic, not it's not usual to have storms in June. It has happened 34 times, including this year, since 1851, he said. Sydney was forecast to remain a tropical storm while heading to the northeast of the Caribbean into open waters of the Atlantic before dis dispatching earlier in the coming week. It says Brit brought up winds, heavy rains, and swelling up to 15 feet, 4.9 meters, to islands in the eastern Caribbean that have shut down to prepare for its potential landslides and floodings. When it's arrived late Thursday, officials in the French Caribbean island of Martiqua said that they have found four people who were a aboard a lifeboat after the uh, catamaran sink during the storm and that was uh, they were hospitalized power outages were reported in St. Lucia and St. Vincent in the Grenadians with a 130 people seeking protection in the government shelters as the storms wash away one home and cause several damages to several others, according to officials. Ralph Gonsfis, 
a prime minister for St. Vincent and Grenades, Grenades East told the NBC radio local station Friday that officials were still assessing the damage and helping those in need. We will respond as always with speed, he says. Authorities in Barbados said they received more than a dozen reports of damages across the island, according to the Caribbean Disaster Emergency Management Agency. It says Brent was moving through the Central Caribbean Friday night, passing to the north of Roba, uh, Bonari, and Karachal, forecast to say was expected to dis dissipate Saturday night. It says late Friday, Britain centers was about 75 miles, 120 kilometers north of Karako and moving west into the open waters to 18 miles to 30 kph. Its maximum will sustaining winds of 50 miles to 85 kph. It says Sydney, Sydney's maximum sustained winds or were almost around 50 miles and 85 kph. Late, late Friday, the storm was centered about 735 miles and 1,185 kilometers east of Lisser and and Antilles, if I pronounce that name right. It says the National Ocean and Atmosphere Administration has forecast 12 to 17 storms for this year, hurricane season, and it says became five and nine of those storms could become hurricanes, including up to four major hurricanes, category three or higher. Bring out the scriptures again. And this is a uh, second Ezra chapter nine verse two. Then thou shalt understand it is a very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Right, and that's what the heavenly father is doing right now. And this is at a, a historical rate. They said hurricane season has been the earliest since 1851, according to the meteorologists. And they said uh, one of the meteorologists reported that this is kind of rare in world history as far as weather concerned. You know, this has been the uh, earliest hurricane season. Normally, hurricane season be in uh, mid-August or mid-October. So that's a very first, which kind of shocked me as well, too, as I was reading that news article. Um, bring out Isaiah 29 and 6 as well, too. And this is the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, and verse 6, and it reads through the Holy Scriptures. Then thou shalt be visit of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise with storms and tempests, right, storms and tempests, Hurricane Sydney and Hurricane Britain, and tempest and the flames of our fire. So with that, hopefully this uh, lesson was edifying of this recent news article that I just brought out. As it says again, uh, from the Associated Press, voiceofamericanews.com, June the 24th, 2023, at 9.53 a.m. As it says again, tropical storm Sydney Brit shows aggressive start to hurricane season. So with that, hopefully this lesson was edifying. I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai Bashem, Kadash. Shalom to the elders for preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And until next time, I will say shalom.